Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. So I am actually filming in my office right now. I have my little fall backdrop going on right here, which took me a little bit to set it up, but since today is my big launch day with Marble Glam, I just kind of wanted to do something special, light a candle, and since this is a sit down video, I just wanted it to have like a really nice pretty background for you guys to look at. I have my tea and my coffee. <laughs> it was that kind of morning, but I am working on my tea right now. And this is one of my favorite David's teas. And oh, I have just been so obsessed with drinking tea lately. Obviously it's the fall season and beanies, tea. I do all those things that are cliche, but I love it. And I love fall so much. Uh, but in today's video, I am going to be talking about my Marble Glam launch since it launches today. And I've been waiting for this day for a while now. And I know most of you know, this collection was actually inspired by our house. So what better to do than kind of like a household items slash home favorites video and there's just so much I wanted to talk about with you guys today. So this is going to be a longer video, uh, which is why I kind of wanted to get glam, get ready and throw on my gray beanie and lashes and everything, the whole works, but uh, just so many things to go over. I actually did pull a lot of stuff from all over my house to share with you guys that I have linked down below for you. So I've just Ever since we've been in this house, it's been really, really exciting buying home decor and just making it feel warm and cozy. And I mean, it, it really is our forever home. We built this home. So I wanted everything to feel special, every room to feel different. So I just wanted to talk about what I've bought that has really worked. And then also I'm gonna go over like home decor favorites, beauty favorites, and just everything else that I wanted to throw into this video. So really, really excited. I know long intro as always, but if you guys are not yet subscribed, definitely subscribe now, join the fam and I am just so excited for this new launch so I'm just gonna roll right in. So of course the first thing I want to talk about is my marble glam. So I have her right here and it is reflecting a little bit because this is actually not something you would know and not something that I show you unless you're actually purchasing but it actually has a film over top of it so that's why it looks like that. So uh, once you get it in, it does have plastic protecting it. And I do that just because I know a lot of you like to keep the actual boxes, so I don't want it to get damaged or anything. So that's why I do that. Um, so once you take the little film off, which I really love that we do that with all the sets now because it just keeps it that much more protected. And then I know so many of you like using it as decor. I actually use them as decor as well, the boxes all the time. And I think it's a great idea. So. This is what it looks like when you open it. It has the most gorgeous silver foiling on top. It says Marble Glam Brush Set. And it is, these are actually my favorite boxes. So the little pull outs, I find that they're just so classic, so easy to do, and I just love them. They're just such beautiful boxes. So, I mean, you can reuse these boxes as well, but I like keeping the brushes inside, just keeping them safe. I will show you a few different options on uh, brush holders from Amazon that I think are fantastic, where you can really display the marble brushes in your house. Um, so right here we have the beautiful marble collection and these were inspired by this house. And after I saw our kitchen, I was like, this is the most beautiful room I have ever seen. And I told our builders that I'm like, I wanna make a set inspired by this kitchen. So that is where I got the inspiration from. And they're just really meaningful to me. And I love how they turned out. It took a while to get, I did wanna do like a darker bristle this time, but with a fade of white, just to keep it light as well. But I did like the contrast of color and it is more of like that fall into winter brush. So I just think this turned out so beautiful and I cannot wait to show you this eight piece brush set. So usually you guys know, I usually do like five to six piece brushes, but with this set here, I wanted to do eight because these are really the eight brushes you need to do a full face of makeup. So in my last few vlogs that I've filmed, I've shared with you like getting ready and I've only really used these brushes. Um, and they are really multi-use as well. So I'll show you which ones you can actually use for liquid foundation. and. I mean, you can use it for contour, for bronzer, for powder. Like a lot of these are multi-use. I even do the thicker blending brush down the nose for that contour as well, nose contour. And this whole set has just worked out so perfectly. So I'm gonna show you these eight brushes right here. 
Okay, so I have the eight brushes right in front of me and I kind of wanted to talk about how I organize this set. So basically I did four face brushes, four eye brushes, and with all of my sets, they are all multi-use. A lot of my sets will include more powder options because I think it's really important to have nice, fluffy, big face brushes. And I tend to use my powder brush, especially my tapered face. This one right here is fantastic to use underneath the eyes if you're um, putting powder underneath the eyes to conceal. Also for contour, I'm huge, huge, huge on contour. So I like using this for contour as well since it is tapered and you can get that really, really nice contoured look. Um, so I do use my powder brushes for just about everything else as well as bronzer and blush. Um, I do have two blush options in this kit, which is Oh, these are actually my absolute favorite and I think they are the perfect size. So right here we have the angled blusher. This is so nice for using for highlight, blusher, and contour. So if I want to do more of like a sculpted contour kind of look, which is something I do with fall because I feel like I go a little bit more pale from summer. Uh, so it is something I like to do, especially today. You can see I went really, really warm with my contour. So I did go in with this brush right here. You can use it for highlight as well, and you can use it for blush on the apples of your cheeks. So perfect size for that. And then right here we have the tapered. This is actually the tapered powder. So this is really, really nice at using for right underneath the eyes and tapping in. Um, I like to use it down the nose since it is tapered and I do put powder on my nose right here. I get so oily, so oily in my T-zone. I'm starting to a little bit right now and I just powdered. Um, the rest of my skin is dry as dry as can be. And I've talked about that since coming back to Calgary, it's super dry. Um, so my skin has kind of been going through like a hormonal imbalance and it's been kind of crazy, but I'm finally getting it to normal again. Uh, but I do like to take the powder down here, also highlight down the nose as well. And Cupid's bow, this is really, really nice to tap in highlight as well. But like I said, you can use these brushes for anything. They are so multi-use. And then the other brushes I have, which I love the eye brushes in this set. And we went in with a super, super fluffy, long, uh, blending brush. So this is really really great. I actually use this for two things. So blending eyeshadow on the eyes also for down the nose I always always do a contour so you can see right here I do have my contour right here my contour on my nose So just right down here. It's really fluffy and I just love using this brush for absolutely everything You could use this for like highlight down the nose Cupid's bow as well Just giving you different options and then I go in with these three brushes on the eyes So we have a smaller blending brush. So Right now I went in with like a really dark shade in the um, the corner as well as, or sorry, the inner corner as well as the outer V. I use this brush. It's so great for using both, but I go in with highlight first then work in the darker colors. And uh, just depending on the look I'm going for, but I have been a little bit more dramatic on the eyes as you have noticed in all my recent videos. But right here I have your classic eyeshadow brush. This is great for packing on eyeshadow on the lid and then also the angled. I love the angled brush for the outer V. So I, if I want to go in with a darker color, I also can take it underneath the eyes and drag the color if I'm going in with like more of a smoky eye. So I love how my voice is getting super raspy right now. Uh, happens when I talk a lot, but I just wanted to show you the different options on the set and also the size difference. So you can see here we have like a really big thick powder brush and then also the tapered face. And then also the difference between the two blushers as well. You can see they are quite different. And like I said, you guys, these brushes you can use for anything you want, but I like to just tell you the different ways that I use them, but just to show you all the different sizes of brushes. So really this is, I think, the most fantastic kit that I've had, especially if you're starting out with makeup. This is a more luxe set, of course, because they are marble and they're a little bit more fancy, but I think these really are the only brushes you need to create an entire makeup look. So I just wanted to show you. And for the bristles, you will notice if you have bought in any of my previous sets, these bristles are out of this world. They are so soft, so luxurious. They really are 
a game changer for my brand. So I'm really excited for all my new launches and the new bristles that I've been working on. And you will notice a big difference. And uh, I just, I'm so happy with how these turned out. So I wanted to show you those because they are launching today. So if you want to check out my website, I have them up right now. Also, if you have my newsletter, the newsletter would have just gone out too since it launched at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And uh, I also wanted to let you know I have a special coupon code just for you guys. I'm not promoting this everywhere. I just wanted to tell you my code and you guys can get extra savings. So I am doing um, the coupon code, which is marble30. You'll get 30% off only until Monday. And you also get, so the regular set is $72. So you get it for $50, which is amazing. $50 and 40 cents. Uh, so I just think that's a fantastic price and a fantastic savings. And I wanted to do that special code for you for this specific launch. So you can use it to buy other products as well. Uh, and it will be store wide 30% off just for you guys. So I wanted to give you a special gift for the big launch and I'm just so excited that they're finally here. I know it's been something I've been talking about for a while now, but I just am so bad at doing sneak peeks and getting so excited about new things I'm working on. Like I already told you, I'm working on my makeup line and I have three other launches that are coming right after this one. So ugh, there's just so much to talk about. And like, I even got photos. Let me show you just a, another little sneak peek here. I'm just so funny. I get so excited. And um, like, I usually do this with Ryan as well. I'm like, oh my gosh, look, look. And Aaron, Aaron's actually doing all of my professional photography shots, but just wanted to show you a little sneak peek. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so that is the, here, I'm getting dark again. There we go. So that is one of my next launches and I'm so excited. So lots coming, but this one I was, oh, you guys, I can't tell you how excited I've been. This is just such a nice, Thing that I can have in my house now all over. I feel like I've been trying to hide them because I didn't want to give too much away, but they are finally here. So definitely go get your marble glam set. If you have any friends that are really obsessed with marble, this is the perfect set to get. And just like I said, anyone that's starting out with makeup, I think it's a fantastic set to invest in because these brushes will last you so long and the handles are just absolutely eye candy. Like these handles and you guys, I think if you've been following me since the very beginning since I started my channel my I think my entire style has changed drastically and I feel like now more than ever my true style is coming out so I feel like neutrals soft light pinks and marble and like light tones uh, are my absolute favorite and it's really incorporated into our house and I feel like I can share that now because it's so much so transparent through my brand if that makes sense uh, so that is why I wanted to just launch something that was really just stand out and something that really went with our home. So finally here, yay. And I'm gonna have a sip of tea because this is the best tea ever. But I'm gonna roll right into some of the stuff I wanted to talk about today. So the first thing I have are two marble pieces that I actually have in my kitchen from Crate and Barrel. So the first thing being this right here, this is actually for our paper towel. And this is so luxe, you guys. I got them for a fantastic price on Crate and Barrel as well. And they're really, really, really heavy. And this is what I've been using since we moved into our house. I was so excited to get it. And uh, like I said, it just really goes along with our kitchen. And if you have really nice, like soft tones, I think this would look fantastic in your house. Um, so I think I want to get one more actually for our basement bar because I love it And it was something I wanted to see in person sometimes Marble or marble it cannot look so good. So that is the problem and I mean sometimes it can look really really dark But this one here I think is just such a nice blend for our kitchen So I have this and then if you look at what the pumpkin is sitting on right there So that right there I got both of these together from crate and barrel and that one can be used for a candle. It's actually like a candle or a cake stand. You can use it for so many different things. I like using it for decor. So putting like a little pumpkin or like a candle on there, I think will be nice. And I will, or I'm doing Thanksgiving at my house. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. Like I was going to do a Thanksgiving get ready with me and we celebrate Thanksgiving earlier than uh, the US. So ours is I think a or October 11th or 12th. 
and we're having we're hosting it here so i was thinking of doing like a get ready with me and showing you like all the kitchen where i'm using for thanksgiving so if you want to see that let me know uh but i definitely will have my marble collection out uh that i got from crate and barrel because i love it it looks so luxe and like i said it has a lot of weight to it it feels expensive but it was really inexpensive uh for this type of wear and i love it i always get so many compliments on all the marble stuff we have in our kitchen because it just blends so seamlessly with our countertops and everything like that it just stands out um so i wanted to mention those two because i don't even think i've showed you i might have showed you just on insta stories like when the hauls were coming in but it's not something i talked about so that's what i wanted to mention because i love them so much okay so the next thing i have right here is for our pantry and one of the first things that I wanted to get were all of our organizers. So like say our cutlery drawer and utensil drawer and everything like that. I just wanted it to be organized right when we moved in. And I wanted to get ones that really just looked clean and simple. So everything I found was off Amazon and most of them are made smart. This one here is made smart, which I love. And you can use this for like spices. You can also use it for vitamins. I actually use it for vitamins because we have so many vitamins. Uh, and sugar bear hair, they sent me so many. So I actually was more so displaying them on here, but you could put spices if you have lots of spices. Um, you can pull like anything, all sorts of bottles, uh, you know, if you have sauces and stuff, you can put them on here. Uh, but this is really nice. I think it displays really nicely. And we do a lot of gray and white in our home. So it just looks like it blends in perfectly. So this I will link down below. It's from Amazon. And I think the gray and white is classic. It looked nice. But I think they also have um, a transparent one as well. If you wanted to get like a see-through one. I can't remember the other shades they had. But I really do like the white and gray. I think it looks so nice. Uh, the other thing I wanted to also share are some candle options. So uh, it depends on where you want to put candles. I put them everywhere. Like I think I have like six different candles right now just on my office desk. <laughs> uh, but I think it depends where you're putting it. I will give some smaller options as well as larger options as far uh, as I cannot talk right now. Uh, this one I actually have in my uh, closet. So this one here is the Volupsa Lychee and it's a simple pink. It's really pretty and I love the glass as well. I think their candles are just so unique. Not only do they smell good, but they make for decor. You know how there are some candles and you just kind of like want to hide them. I never find that the case with their candles. I'm always wanting to have them out displaying them and I just, I think they're lovely to look at. And then if you want an even smaller one, we have the Milk Rose, which is this one right here. It's actually a little macaron, so that's really, really cute. But I think this would be a nice spot like in your office space or um, you can put it in your like washroom. And I actually wanted to get a second one for our powder room. I think that would look really nice because it's a small little candle um, just to fill in spaces really nice. Nicely. Now, if you wanted to go even more baby size than that, I would say Diptyque. So these little mini candles you can get at Diptyque. You can also get them at Sephora. I think Nordstrom's as well. Uh, so this is a really nice baby size. I have this upstairs uh, on my makeup vanity on the spinning tier that I have. And I just think it's a really nice little candle that stands out and makes for really nice decor. And the nice thing too, I really like their label. This would really be nice year round. And it's not like, it's more of like a soft, just like white and black. So it goes, it goes anywhere. That's the problem I have sometimes with candles. Like if it's gold or if it's like brown, like I can't use it for every season. But if you go with like more of a solid color, like a white, black or cream, nude, like I feel like it would go a lot better year round. So that's also another thing I was gonna say. Now, if you wanted to go in with like a really nice big candle, this is so fantastic for like holiday season, Christmas, fall, because I think gold looks really nice for fall as well. So this is the blonde to back and it's, it's like a warm vanilla husk and sandalwood. This smells so good. Like if you, this actually reminds me of men's cologne and I love men's cologne. I think it smells so good. So this kind of just reminds me of that. I haven't even burned it yet, but it, is heavenly it smells so nice and i mainly have it out for decor in my office because you know in my office i have all gold and white so i just thought this would be nice for like a pop of color in here and then also it makes for beautiful decor so i did want to mention all their candles they did send these ones to me after i did a million posts for them because 
you know indigo i used to go nuts i used to go crazy on buying candles and anytime they would have a sale i would buy like 10 candles from Balupsa. so that was really nice i'm gonna see if i can get a coupon code from them and if i can i will link it down below so make sure you check back if it's not there um or follow on my insta stories because i will announce it but i'm trying to get a coupon code for you guys right now because it is candle season lastly if you want to splurge a little bit that candle right there is actually like I say, the big mama candle. That is the most massive candle I have ever seen. Uh, but say if you have like a large kitchen, like our area or a large living room or something, wouldn't recommend it in the living room if you have kids because that would be kind of scary, but I would have it at a higher level if possible. Uh, so I actually usually have it in our kitchen and it makes for beautiful decor. I Every time we have guests over, they're like, where's that candle from? That is the biggest candle I've ever seen. So if you wanna like blow people's minds, guests, and like have something that stand out, then definitely invest in getting one of the large candles. I think they're fantastic. They're beautiful to look at and they are, a tad expensive but i think they are well worth it because you are gonna have a long long time on burning that candle like you can have that candle for years and i just think it's something you can actually have out for decor even if you do burn the whole thing so i think it's fantastic um and I did want to mention that I'm actually thinking about getting another one. I do want to get one more for our house because I think they are so beautiful. At first I was like, where am I going to put that thing? But now that I have it in my kitchen, I'm like, I kind of want one downstairs in the basement. And I just think they look so beautiful. So that is another thing I wanted to mention. So the next thing I wanted to share with you guys, it's something you see all the time in my Insta stories because I think I have maybe four or five now in my house. And this is Nicole's um glam shop she has her own tray line so she actually does a ton of other stuff as well so just check out her store regardless she has a lot of different items but her trays are so beautiful for home decor you guys i'm so happy i got these because they really completed area certain areas in our house so I have one in my closet. I also have one upstairs on my makeup vanity, which is probably one of my favorite ones, which is um, a mirrored one that is a Louis Vuitton print. And then this one here I got sent recently. So this is actually for my office since it's golden pink, but this is it right here. Look how beautiful this is. Like, I love this part too. Like you can see a lot of these style trays at like home sense and stuff like that, that aren't even as nice, but these ones are just so luxurious. And I love the gold. I went with the golden pink for in here. I just think it goes so nicely. There's the Chanel. So it says Chanel in the front. It has the logo. It has the golden pink and uh, you can get different colors as well. So just definitely check out her website, see what she has. But these ones are my favorite. I also have a clear one that's Louis Vuitton in our kitchen. So that's the one where I have like all the candles on top. And you guys see that all the time whenever I'm showing my kitchen. So that's a really nice clear one, which I think just blends into the house very nicely. Uh, but her tray are just so beautiful and I mean I definitely want to do a video on like how I decorate them with like candles and uh, I think that's the tricky part is like what do you want to put inside without overdoing it uh, but I think I got the right set amount of stuff in my closet one and I don't really put anything in my makeup vanity one but I think I'm going to do some like clear candles um, so let me know if you want to see like a separate video on that so the next thing I wanted to get into that's a smaller home decor piece are picture frames. So I am so big, I think you know by now, on taking photos and making photo album books. I've also done a lot of chat books. I actually just ordered one for the girl's second birthday. So when that comes in, I'll share it with you guys. I just had my friend Nomo send one as a gift to us for the girl's second birthday. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. It was so thoughtful. I think they're great gift ideas, but they're really, really nice as home decor and having in your house. And for me, I'm huge on picture frames. So I have picture frames all over our house and I really love how guests come over and they, you know, look at photos of our family and it's just really, really nice. And like, there's something so warm and loving about having lots of photos up, um, which is funny because I have not put any on the walls yet, which we did want to make like a photo frame area going down to the basement. Uh, once that's done and complete, then I will share it with you guys. But as far as just like small home decor pieces, photo frames is my favorite. So this one here is from Home Sense, and I love the Victorian print. I definitely want to find more like this. Okay, so my camera just died, of course, but what I was saying is that I'm huge on Victorian print 
styled frame. So these two I also have in my office and I love them. I think they just go so well with our house. And obviously we did the Victorian style print uh, in the girls' bedroom, the nursery, and then also their playroom. And then also on the floors, like some of the tiles also have that like nice Victorian print. So I just feel like it goes really nicely in our house and everything kind of matches. So the next time I go to HomeSense, I definitely will do a haul. I have so many of you ask when I'm gonna do another like in-store vlog style haul. So hopefully I can do that soon and share with you like the other vintage Victorian styled frames that I find because I definitely want to get more for our house. Uh, now the other thing I wanted to show you guys are organizers for your makeup or beauty space. So I'm gonna start off with the brush one that I found. This is actually a clear acrylic holder from Amazon, really inexpensive. It has a gold lid, but I took it off to display the marble brushes and they just look so, so great. You can fit about two to three sets in one of these, uh, but I feel like it just makes it look so pretty. You can clearly see your brushes and it's just very clean looking. Uh, so these are really, really great to use. You can also use them for like stationary in your house. Uh, clearly I like using them for my brushes. The other organizers I wanted to share with you are these sets of three that I got so it comes with these two and then also there's a smaller one so these are fantastic to store your makeup in I've been using these ever since we moved into our house and I love how you can just take them out one by one you know if you're using lip gloss or uh, mascara like you can just take out the tin that you need and they're really really great easy simple and inexpensive so these are also from amazon and i think they're so great and you can also fit quite a bit of makeup in these so that is really really nice and i like how they come in three different sizes so you could do like smaller little items in the little container which i usually put like ipsy samples and things like that or like small glitter and just like small little baby sized makeup, which fit perfectly. And then in the large one, I usually do foundations, mascaras, and just larger items. But I feel like it's just so much nicer when you can see everything. And for me, I used to do like the drawers and stuff, which a lot of people still use for makeup, but I don't like having clutter on top of my vanity. I rather have everything inside the drawers. So yeah, between the other styles that I saw on Amazon, they were a lot bigger, but I think it's a little easier for me to just grab out like little containers that I need because like I said I'm usually wearing the same sort of makeup and uh, there isn't a crazy amount that I need to go for in my makeup vanity so I definitely think everything looks more presentable and easier when it's hidden and that was my problem before I definitely had everything cluttered and on top of my makeup vanity and I think it's just nice and simple and clean uh, and clutter free when everything's inside the drawer so these fit into my makeup drawers perfectly so that is why I wanted to share that and also what I thought I would do since I was just going around the house and I'm like well I can't move that I am going to do vlog style and just share with you other parts of the house uh, home decor and things that I've been really really liking and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching just kind of like a favorites and household items video because I think that this was just like so necessary because if I'm showing throughout my vlogs like things that I'm loving then I just forget to mention other things and it's easier when I'm just like to sit down and I'm telling you everything that I've been really enjoying so I hope you've been enjoying it definitely let me know in the comments what you guys have been loving lately and if there's anything in your home that you're truly in love with I would love to know I'm always looking for new things and I actually I was on uh, Louis Vuitton last night and there is a present that I want to get for my birthday and it's another backpack So I used to talk about how much I disliked this backpack because it like laid flat and you can kind of see it is kind of one of those style bags I love this bag now. I use it all the time for my diaper bag I use it every single day and it's just the perfect size bag so I you know what I want to get another backpack and I think just being a mom now and I'm always on the go and like I don't have hands anymore so I mean it makes so much more sense if we're taking the girls out and I have a backpack so the other one I wanted to get I'll put a picture up of um actually two colors now I know white's a little scary but also white it's kind of funny everyone was like no don't get white couches like they're gonna get so dirty and look how clean our couches are so I think as long as you take care of something um it's okay to have something light and I think a lot of people were shocked whoa you guys let the girls play on your couches like of course and like same with my shoes or like my bags and stuff like I don't mind that they go through things and I think it's good to teach them to be gentle with things and um just so they know to be 
you know, like as they get older to treat things well. So I definitely am not too scared of that stuff, but I think it's also great to have the things that you want and the colors that you want. And I love light colors. So I, I okay, so camera just died again, but I just wanted to say, I do want to get another style backpack. There was the light white one and then the more like cream beige color that they had, or it's like a darker cream but i can't decide between both of them so let me know which color you like more but i think i might go there today and see them in person uh the other thing i've been really liking mia has been saying mommy and daddy so so much and she usually they usually just say mama dada but now she says mommy and daddy okay and say daddy daddy yeah and Okay. <laughs> Seriously, the cutest thing when I hear that. I love hearing mommy, daddy. Uh, but I'm gonna do vlog style now and show you guys around the house and the other pieces that I wanted to share with you in this video. And then, uh, of course, I will chat with you guys a little bit after that too. And that'll be today's video. Okay, so right here I have my new Uggs. I actually got these last week from Nordstrom Rack and they are so soft and I love the knitted for fall and they're light pink as well. So I've never seen these, this style before and it was long overdue. I have really old Uggs so I needed some new ones but they're so comfy. And then the other shoes I wanted to share with you guys are these. So I got these for my birthday, I wanna say last year for my brother and his wife. So they're pink Timberlands and I wore these. I will attach a photo with the girls and we had like a full day adventure up in Canmore and did a one overnight and it was so nice and nice family trip. But I wore these and they were really, really comfy and I feel like these are just such nice like statement boots. So I'll leave a link down below if I can find them, but they are so beautiful. And then I also have Max's bed. I get so many questions on where this is from. I got this from HomeSense and it's so fancy, but I leave it in here sometimes if I'm working, he'll come in like, you know, I'll put a little blanket on here for him and it's just like warm and cozy. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm in our master bedroom right now and I'm actually just cleaning all the mirrored furniture. That's why there's some decor missing, but we still actually have to get a few things for the master before I do like a full tour. Wanted to quickly show you the book I was talking about that Nomo made. So look how beautiful this is. Like it's very heavy. The front cover here is like almost like a like a glass or a plastic and it's really luxe and heavy. Look how cute the girls look. Oh, you guys, I just died when I opened this. It was so thoughtful. And we did this fun photo shoot when she came and visited the girls for their second birthday. And she asked me, she's like, I, or what were your favorite, I think 25 photos. And I sent them to her. So I didn't know what she was doing, but this is so beautiful. And I'm so happy she made this for us and I can have it out in the kitchen. She actually told me she went with like light colors because of that. She knew that I would like have it out on display. And I just thought this was so beautiful. So Nomo is actually, um, Nomo and Jade are both photographers and they both own Wolf Fan Collective. So the beanies that I'm always talking about, that is their line. And I do have a coupon code for you guys. So I'm so excited. I will mention that in just a minute, but look how sweet. Oh my goodness, my heart. So I have the gray one on right now, but I have every color basically, except I think one color i'm missing or maybe two that they've launched but they gave me a coupon code so i wanted to give that to you guys as well today so if we go into my beanie drawer right here i have lots and the coupon code is sl miss glam for 15 percent off i'll have it on the screen here so sl miss glam for 15 percent off definitely use it i think you should totally invest into a cute beanie they are so high end and also the quality is by far the best i've ever used and i've bought a lot of beanies in my lifetime and i'm not joking when i say all my friends have bought them as well so really great quality i've been wearing them every single year so i highly recommend them but i'm gonna also take them out i'm actually gonna get some from my friends for this uh christmas all right so we have the girls little mini ones so i have this color here I also have this color, which is actually my favorite. It's a really like cool pink and we have the white and you can actually switch all of the little palms as well. If you want to switch the colors and stuff, they're 
Uh, they got like little clips that you can take off, so that's also great. I need to get another pink one because I cannot find the other one and I want the girls to match uh, when I'm wearing it. So see, I have this one. So I wanted to get a shot just wearing like this one and then the girls are in this one. And then I don't know if they have beige baby ones, but they have gray. So the girls also have gray. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But this is also one of my favorites. If you guys like nudes and solid like neutral tones, black as well they have. I wore that a lot last year. Uh, and then the one I'm wearing right now, so the gray. Okay, so I cannot find the gray ones right now. They are somewhere in my house, but I definitely will have like a photo on Instagram because like I said, I wanted to do like a matching shot featuring the gray with the beautiful marble brushes uh, that I'm launching. But yeah, definitely use my code if you're interested in getting a beanie. They are so beautiful. And then I did take some candles off just to show you guys in the video, but in my closet I have the smaller version of the tray that Nicole has. So this is this small white Chanel, and I have some of my Boss Babe brushes that is launching soon. And I just thought because I have so many like neutral tone colors in here, it would really work with all the tones I have. And then the marble ones can go on my makeup vanity and then also downstairs um, in my office and kitchen and literally everywhere else. Uh, and then I have my new makeup case right here and everything I have out except for this that's a tag um, are just things I truly love so so much and which is why I've left them out for decor so my Louis Vuitton book I have my Louis Vuitton earrings the small Scott box that's also from Louis Vuitton flowers I like having everywhere in my house as well just for some really pretty decor um, but I really really do love how the closet has turned out and I've kept everything the same tones and same kind of colors now another favorite household item, <laughs> not really household, but uh, just something I wanted to talk about are my Jeffrey Campbell. So I'm actually gonna wear one of these pairs for my birthday. If I'm being risky, I will wear the taller ones. We will see, but I have them right here. They're from Nordstrom. Uh, and then the other pair, which is just honestly a smaller version of it, which uh, these I wore for my last birthday. Look how beautiful they are for display. And I always knew I'm like, closet is going to have really beautiful things in it and I just want to have everything like displayed really nicely and um you know since I want to get more into the sit down videos I can use this entire area more so for filming so I just think this would be like a really nice pretty backdrop so the last thing I wanted to talk about is our mirrored furniture because that was the one thing I found really hard to find and there's so many different options out there but these ones I really really love are side tables here they were uh, a little bit cheaper as well compared to the other ones that we had seen and I love the little crystals they have there too on the knobs they're really really pretty so I will leave a link down below on the exact ones we got also love the dresser so we have this one right here I haven't finished decorating I, we are gonna get like a big mirror to go on top but um, and I did pull off some of the stuff the decor that I had on there but I just wanted to quickly show you guys those because I'm really happy with with how they look in the room Okay, so the last two things I wanted to mention I can't go out there right now because the girls are eating and if they see me <laughs> I won't be able to film uh, But our couches so like our entire couch set with the chairs came or I bought them separately But you can buy them as a set uh, And they are my absolute favorite. I love them so much We get so many compliments and I'm actually trying to find like a really really nice throw like our bedroom one but in white and the one I have now is just one that I think I got at indigo but I'm trying to look for like a really nice thick like warm cozy blanket to go on there too and I think that would look so great and the other thing that I really really love are my mermaid chairs so you guys don't really see them much because they're over there um but you would have seen them in like when I've showed you when we moved in and like I did my office tour and stuff like that then you would have seen them when I was like organizing but they are so beautiful and I really really love them they're gold and like a really soft pink and I just think they're so elegant looking and I love the way they look in my office and especially since that's like the first thing you see when you come in the house I wanted the office to look like really really beautiful um so those are also chairs that I would purchase again like I love them so much I'll link them down below and Mama is tired now. That was a long video, uh, but I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I talked about. I will link everything down for you down below. And also so excited for my newest baby. Finally here, the marble set. So I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm filming my outro now. <laughs> Look who's joined me. Hello, princess. Oh, you just love mommy's stuff. 
So very excited that we are here with Marvel. Definitely check them out. Like I said, use my code and they'll be in my store so you guys can get them now. Available, finally. Uh, so very excited. We're all very excited for it. And the girls love the Marvel brushes. They, I think, I think it's their favorite because they're always grabbing them. Um, but I did want to say as well that my next video, I'm wanting to do a morning routine. It looks like from the last video I did, I asked you guys nighttime or morning. A lot of you said morning, so... I think we'll do that next. And also the other video I wanted to do is a jewelry organization video. So if you want me to do that, cause I actually have been doing that quite a bit behind the scenes and not so much vlogging, but if you want me to do like a whole collection video and I've been wearing like a lot more jewelry now as well. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that too. And also I got the new iPhone, you guys, finally, I had the iPhone eight plus and it kept stalling and like not working. And I was like, okay, it's time for a new phone. Can't be on like Instagram and it stall and it would like shut down and just, it was crazy. So this is my new phone. I love it so much. And I got the pink case for it and I've had, oh, it's just so fast. And the battery life is amazing too. So I think it's like the, or it's the latest iPhone. Um, anyway. So that was a really long video. I hope you enjoyed it though and my little backdrop that I had today. And if you guys have not yet subscribed, definitely subscribe now and join the fam. And of course, I will see you guys on Monday. Why, thank you, Miss Mia. Look at you, Miss Organizer, taking after your mama. <laughs> yeah. Can you say mommy? Mommy, daddy? You're too busy. Oh, okay. I think I heard something. Someone is having a little too much fun in our room. 